Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast. Welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing the god that I kind of forgot exists. Uh, what happened to Nemesis, man? <laughs> what happened to Nemesis? Early in Season 5, everybody was playing Nemesis all the time, and it's like she's dropped off the face of the planet. Um, so I figured we play Nemesis. It's been forever since I've touched her. Uh, that sounds different than intended, but yeah, it's been forever since I played Nemesis and uh, I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and get back to her a little bit. She's a fun god, man. She's one of my favorite jungles. It's just like, it's been so long. I feel like I don't even know what to do anymore, right? Um, we have a decent matchup. We have kind of a weird matchup. Mercury versus Nem's a weird one. Nem outboxes Mercury hard because her three wrecks his face. Uh, Merc doesn't take slows because of his twos, so Nem ult kind of sucks. Nem 2 kind of sucks, and it's a really weird matchup. So I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see. A lot of it comes down to how Mercury plays it, as well as how we play it, I guess. Um, Rod's going to be an interesting one as well. He doesn't have any counters to our shield, but he does have a strong slow, which will mess us up quite a bit. So it'll be an interesting matchup, man. Uh, it's kind of funny. Nemesis early on in Season 5 was, was the big meta jungle to play. And now, now it's Mercury, and of course we have the, we have the big meta jungle on their team, and we have Nemesis who's dropped off the face of the planet on uh well on on me. All right, let's go get some red buff. Uh, Ra already got right mid, just really nice, good take on his part, so that way they're not able to get it there. They would otherwise be taking that pretty pretty easily, getting a little more pressure than we get, which is great. So let's go ahead and drop that real quick. I think we're gonna make our way over to duo right now, so we're gonna start up the purple buff maybe. No, we're just gonna straight up gank here. Hopefully they're just hitting two. That's really bad. That's really bad. Uh, Jingwei running out of mana though. Maybe, maybe. Can we make it work? Go ahead and dash through both here. I think they're both getting out here, unfortunately. Yeah. So we'll just try and see if we can peel it all. But I think this might be dead Baron. Oh, this might be dead Afro. Not quite, man. Not quite. Honor is getting crazy aggressive. Holy. Come on. Give me give me level three. Give me level three. One creep. One creep. One creep. I want my shield. Damn it, man. I want my shield. And they finally get the kill there. That sucks, dude. That sucks. I thought we'd be able to do something with that. We did not. Oh, good cancel there on my shield. Didn't really see the Jingwei one coming there. Rough start for us. We burned through all of our potions right there. With on her still gone, I think we can stick around a little bit here. Since he's going to be missing some of this farm anyways. Mercury, you need to chill, man. Oh my! <laughs> Mercury does not need to chill. We're dead? We're dead? What am I doing? I didn't think they could kill me there. Wow. Okay. My bad, team. My bad. Mercury 1 did 120. Jingwei did, like, not much. 90 with her 1, but burst you all at once and you go down pretty quick. It's like a third of our HP, just like that. I didn't really think they had the cooldowns to kill me there. Well, whoops. We'll go back to farming here. Mercury should get a bit of a farm lead off that pretty naturally. He got a kill and an assist there, as well as a little bit of farm, since they should have taken the purple buff during all that. So, yeah, we're a decent amount behind. Looks like half a level, which kind of sucks. But we should be able to catch up a decent amount. Not, not too big of a deal. Not too big of a deal. See, as far as, like, um, focusing goes right now, clearly dual lane gonna be a little bit of trouble right now. Uh, in just in general, Aphrodite, obviously a strong counter to basically any jungle. So, that's something for us to watch out for. That's gonna be trouble for us. Um, see, our mid's up. No, Merc just took them. Can we take these, Rock? Can we take these? Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Stop, stop running backwards. Stop DCing for half a second and, and, and rotate over. And, and not DC. Yeah, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> he just DC'd out. Nothing to do about it. Whatever. We'll go take red. Unfortunate, man. Drop the red buff. We'll go grab smalls. We'll probably rotate back towards duo, but only... Actually, I guess it's purple up. Purple's probably coming up right now, so we'll rotate back over towards duo. See if they're invading it right now or not. Yeah, that Aphrodite pick's gonna be trouble, man. Jingwei, kind of around half health right now. Even though we don't have ultimate, we might be able to kill her here. Yeah, might be able to kill her. That's her dash down. This should be a burst. Nice, nice. Really good pick. Great job by the dual lane right there. So we'll go ahead and rotate back towards mid here. This is gonna suck, man. Hopefully Ra comes back quick, because it's gonna be pretty painful without him for now. 
Yeah, 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 I'm on it. Mid camps just came up. We're not gonna we're not gonna take mid camps and we got mid wave to farm. So Ra gets those. But we get the wave, which is fine. Yeah, that's too bad, dude. That's too bad. Hopefully he comes back real quick, otherwise it's gonna be GG. It's like Terry's getting a little aggressive over in the soul lane. Uh on her's gonna cover mid for now, so we can go ahead and grab the speed buff, that's fine. I would want to rotate over towards that Terra, but without speed, we're just kind of wasting our own farm in the meantime, and if nothing comes of it, it's going to be really, really bad. So now we can rotate over, but we got to be taking speed buff when we can get it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's just kind of what happens. That's kind of what happens. If we didn't have to cover that mid-wave, would have been a whole different scenario. We would have, been, would have been over by soul lane by now, but having to take that wave and then kind of awkwardly farm in the jungle on our way back towards speed really messes us up there. Uh, probably can't kill. He should have tether to, to keep himself safe. Yeah, he's going to have to... Holy shit, we don't do damage. <laughs> no boots, no trans. We don't do much. Go ahead and just finish up this wave back for Transcendence right here. There we go. Leave this to Terra for now. Yeah, wow. I mean, I know we had Tether there, but still, man. 38 damage on that auto. That is not much. Uh, looks like we're actually pretty much back to even with Mercury here. We're about to hit level 7 ourselves. I'm assuming he's pretty much at the same. He does have a bit of gold lead, but that's no big surprise, right? We've got a DC. He got he got that that kill, that first blood kill at that, I'm pretty sure, right? So, no big surprise there. Did they invade us? No. Why are smalls down? That's weird. I mean, I'm assuming someone invaded smalls. It's just it's weird that they only got smalls. I don't know when they would have rotated to do that. Is purple up? No. Okay, we'll go ahead and make a rotation here for the Jingwei. I think she dashed recently. I could be tripping. So we're just going to straight up ult her. Oh, didn't realize the Aegis happened there. That sucks. We kind of got blocked by our own effects. Auto cancel with her three. She should have ultimate, right? There we go. Trying to chase her down if we can. Yeah, she just kind of pinned herself there. That was really bad. She should have been trying to get to the Aphrodite. She should have been trying to get to the Aphrodite as quick as possible. And this should be a pick on the Afro as well. Nice. Really good. Really, really good. That was a very awkward fight. Very awkward fight. And could have been trouble if Jingwei played a little bit better. But, uh... No, nah, that, that went fine. That went just fine. Yeah, Aphrodite, not a problem when not actually linked to people. That's the thing we gotta look for, is if Jingwei's ever alone, that is our spot to engage. Even with it being Jingwei... Even with it being a god that has a crazy long dash, plus an ultimate that's basically a crazy long dash, we can still kill her as long as Afro is not around. It's when Afro is around that it's such a miserable task to try and pick that Jingwei. Because not only can she basically dash plus ult almost the entire lane, but she can then have Afro back off, Afro kiss, Afro heals, and Afro ult to help her out that entire time. And it's going to be just about impossible to pick her without a lot of people that way. Uh, that wasn't Afro ult, was it? I think that was just the Afro back off animation. If it was, we could get a little aggressive. No, it was Afro ult. Okay. Either way, with Ra there, we're not going to actually be able to get aggressive, so we'll go ahead and disengage. What? Okay. I don't know why I turned into that. That was pretty dumb. But we're fine. <laughs> we're fine, though. Not really sure why he went for anything there. I'm not I'm not sure why he thought that was something there. Honestly, that was, that was a little weird. Grab a quick small camp. Um, I guess we'll rotate over towards red here if we can. Raw's back in mid, so we finally got our middle laner back. That's great. Ooh, can we pick the Merc? Please dash, thanks. Kill this man. Kill this man. Whoppa. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Trying to dive into tower for that Baron. I guess he wasn't diving into tower, but he dashed towards tower when he missed. Not the play, man. Not the play. That was so, so greedy. So we're coming back. We're looking good. We're looking good. Got our raw back in the middle lane. I think he's playing all right. So even though he's behind, hopefully he'll be fine. Uh, obviously tough to be a few levels down in a mirror match, though. So we'll have to try and help him out. Help him out ourselves. Uh, let's grab a couple of wards here. Should be pretty good on health sustain and mana sustain. I mean, we got trans. We've got nemesis shield. We should be pretty good on healing. So I think we just go ahead and start warding. Oh, boy, he got chunked. Yeah, this is going to suck for him, man. He's going to get denied so much farm. We got to just we got to try and help him out mid. Even though that's going to mean some splitting. Actually, here we'll just go ahead and disengage. We'll let him get that solo farm. Uh, we kind of secured that for him there just by pushing up, scaring the raw a bit. We'll start making our way towards duo. 
who isn't quite yet getting aggressive, so we're going to go ahead and hold off on the rotation just for a second. Merc over on right mids. Now we can look to go in here. Merc not quite in the spot he wants to be in to rotate. Okay, I think we just look for the Afro here. She's going to have less mobility than the Jingwei. There we go. Really good auto cancels right there. Let's turn our attention to Mercury. If we can dive this at all, we're close to it. <laughs> Took way too long on the ultimate, man. Uh, I started dashing away because he was calling missing mid and I wasn't sure where Ra was. So I thought there was a chance he was going to be sniping us. Uh, looks like he picked Ra instead, so that's too bad. But either way, pretty good gank. Pretty good gank. Can someone punish Ra? Well, I'm sorry, man. You're kind of behind. It's it's a little tough. We're punishing duo lane. That's something. Killed two duo, man. Like, that's that's something right there on its own. I don't know. I get it. It's tough, but just it is what it is. You DC for a few minutes, it gets rough. I will try and help him, but I'm not sure how much we can do because we still gotta we still gotta do other things as well. I don't know what that pinging was about. There's not a wave we need to cover right now. Alright, let's see. I think we're gonna go ahead and grab left side jungle real quick. That'll get us our level 12, so we can back for an active. Uh active wise, what do we want here? Do we want an Aegis? Um, probably, probably an Aegis. Could also honestly consider a Bracer. Bracer gets a little interesting on Nemesis. That's something to think about for sure. Especially, they don't really have too much anti-heal. They do have the, the uh, Osiris ult, but that's not too much of something we need to worry about, honestly. Let's see, probably going to a Crusher. Let's try a Bracer. Let's try a Bracer, man. Honestly, I feel like Bracer kind of sucks normally, but it's a fun active. It kind of works interestingly with Nem Shield. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. Because you do end up losing health potentially with Nem Shield and then kind of uh, recovering it back a lot of the time. So, yeah, I don't know. Bracer could be fun. All right. On her here, 1v2. We can probably fight this just fine. They're going hard on him. We're going to look for the Aphrodite first. That's the Afro ult early. Let's try and stay away from that, that back off as long as we can. Now we'll finish her. Whoops. A little bad on my part. She should die to the minions. We'll turn on the Jingwei. Okay, we should be able to clean her up in just a second or two here. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Ha. Huh. There we go. There we go. Took long enough. Mercury is dead. We actually can push right tower. Uh, on her is backing. We will do this ourselves then. Yeah, this is a great spot to push with Merc dead. Like, I, otherwise, I'd be assuming Merc's rotating over. We probably don't want to waste our time pushing because he's just going to stop us. But with him dead, it's pretty safe to push. Really solid. Did Rod just pick someone? You crazy man, what'd you do? <laughs> what is he do? What? <laughs> what the hell is going on over there? Here comes Mercury, we're fine. He thinks we don't see him. Yeah, he thinks we don't see him, we're fine. I'm missing way too many autos though. That actually... See, we should be able to kill him in a second or two here. Oh, or not. <laughs> or not. Blink Mercury, huh? I guess there's a decent amount of that. It's really not too great on him, though. Of course, I probably build it. <laughs> I probably build it, and then I say that. Let's see. Is Terra fine? I'm not really so sure. Looks like it. Looks like it. We'll try and grab this real quick before he goes for it. There we go. Uh, actually, he might be going for Terra's own blue. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to like blue buffs right now. Go ahead and try and help out a little bit here. Is he going to ult? Is he going to ult? I guess his ult's down. Oh, well, that kind of changes things. Yeah, I fought that naturally, assuming his ultimate was up. He must have used it when they had that crazy dive over by the over by the tier 2 tower. So that makes for an easy pick. We'll take it. <laughs> she blocked. She blocked our two with the pillar. Oh, man, what a play. What the? What the? How did we do that? Ho what? We like canceled our dash right there. That was weird. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Let me try and do it again. Right click. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how he did that. That must have just been a, a ping thing. A server thing. That was really weird. Um. Go ahead and grab some stone cutting. And we'll rotate on over. Love you, but it'd be great for a gank. Homie, the last time I would have ganked for you were up at your tier 2 tower in the solo lane. 
I don't know what I can say for you, man. I get it would be great for a gank, but like you're running all over the damn map. It's hard to gank when you're not even in lane. And then the moment you get back to lane, you die and you're like mass gank. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's not that easy. Should just be able to burst this guy pretty damn hard. Uh, I'm bad. I was hoping we could juke a Merkle right there. Is he still trying to ult? Nah. Yeah, that sucks. Oh boy, this could get bad quick. This could get bad quick. Bracer, please? Holy... Okay, servers are just sucking right now. That's how our dash got messed up before. I straight up, without being CC'd, I spammed that Bracer for a solid two seconds before it finally popped. There we go. There's the dead Mercury we've been looking for. Oh, God. Oh, that's probably our raw. We're good. Gonna temporarily disengage because of the thorns. Try and come back in here now. Oh, no. Shield, is it coming up in time? We're good. We're good. We're good. Still got our shield. We can try and get a little aggressive here. <gasps> that was almost dashing into a raw beam. That wouldn't have been the play. Hang on. Can we sneak up on anybody here? Can we get anything done? Yes, we can. Here we go. Trying to use that shield to keep us safe there. Juke the raw ult out. Damn. I thought that would be a pick on the afro. We got to get some anti-heal online ASAP. I probably shouldn't have gone for the crusher. I know they have a lot of healing. Um, Crusher, I guess, probably not the play. It's a good damage item for Nemesis, right? Because it procs on, on just about everything she's got. But, um, yeah, not going to... Not going to be the play, I guess, when they've got a Raw plus an Aphrodite, right? Two for one. What a bargain. Raw doing some good farming in the solo lane. That's a good play to make right now, since he does need to catch up quite a bit. Let's see. Are they going to die of this? Oh, that was really good. We played our auto cancels perfect right there. Really, really good play. Yeah, so that's one thing, by the way, if you guys don't play Nemesis or don't play her much or maybe just don't even know her too well. Uh, auto cancels, big thing on Earth. The the play we made right there, look at that. Um, look at how we used our auto attacks and weave them in during the that fight. It's a really good example of how you want to be playing her, is just weaving in autos between your abilities, staying melee range in order to do that. Uh, and that's where Nemesis really, really gets a lot of her DPS. So, um, I think, honestly, I think we sell the, sell the tier one of stone cutting that we're working on right now. Stone cutting is great on them, but oh my god, do we need some anti-heal right now. So, let's do that. And then probably do we, at this point, we're getting late enough in the build. I think we just go ahead and go into our Hydras. Uh, the way I play Nemesis, the, what I was just talking about right there, a lot of auto canceling. So Hydra is going to make a lot of sense for us. It feels great to, by the way, to just not play Nemesis in forever. She's a God that I love, a God that I played really, really well when I was playing her frequently. Um, and come back to her and just absolutely frag, man. It's so, so satisfying. Baron getting a little bit of trouble. Try and beat up the Mercury a bit here with his shield of ours. Definitely beat him up a good bit. Ultimate up in two. We're going to look to stick to the Aphrodite with it. Oh, maybe not. We'll, we'll turn on Osiris. I'm pretty sure he just ulted the back line. Ow. Time to brace her. Time to brace her 500 HP back. Get those Brawler procs. Try and focus down Jing real quick. Try and pick the Raw real quick. Try and pick the Afro real quick if we can. Oh, I'm too greedy. I'm too greedy. No! What? It did what? It hits that hard? Or did we get hit by both? It double proc. I didn't know you could do that. I, I thought they specifically made sure you couldn't do that a while ago. I guess I'm wrong. I guess I have. I don't play Afro. I guess I'm clueless. Wow. Uh, double proc the back off did 450 damage. That really, really sucks. It's too bad, man. Yeah, she double proc the back off. Wow. Okay. Guess we actually have to watch out for that. I didn't realize that was something we had to watch for. It's a really lame way to die. <laughs> it's really stupid. All right. Who's doing well on their team? Osiris. I guess they're they're pretty much all doing about the same. They don't have a carry. We need to focus too much. Uh, I do think Jingwei is the scariest just because she's the highest farm. Um, but that said, I think we can really focus on just about anybody. We just need to be looking for who's out of position, who's the most pickable target, uh, who's the most dangerous target in the moment, whatever, that, that type of thing right now. Grab our speed real quick. Just had a little kill on the, uh, not the Osiris, the Baron in mid. Let's see if they go for red right now. That sucks. Yeah, they just got it done. Let's see. Can we pick, can we pick anybody off here? Mercury on her's looking for him. Oh boy. 
We're gonna try and burst down the Mercury. Unfortunate timing there. We go ahead and get the pick. It's not who we want to be going on right now. We don't have our Bracer. We want to disengage at this point if we can. Nice one. So they're gonna heal up quite a bit. Want to try and disengage here if we can. All right, we're going to go ahead and get out here. We're 200 HP. We can't do too much. Actually, maybe a tiny bit. No, no, we got to get out of this point. It's going to be too hard to get in that fight. They're staying really close together. I was thinking if somebody separated, we could maybe get back into that fight. But no, not the way, not the way they're positioning. They're positioning really well right now. Staying, staying clumped together so Afro can stay linked to a target. So Ra can kind of heal everybody and slow anybody that comes in. And it's really tough to get into that when we're already low. Try and stop Osiris from taking left real quick. He's tanking this thing right now. I wish we had ultimate. Should be able to do a good amount of damage. I don't know if we have a kill here, though. Probably not worth burning beads for it. We might be able to stay close to him, though, with the slow. There goes the ultimate, finally. Our ultimate's up in 10. We'll burn it if, if he's still, you know, pickable. Mercury, not the play, man. <laughs> Oh, can we slow both? Not quite, but we can ult Mercury real quick. Keep him close. Hopefully rocking at something. He's going to try and ult out. I'm hella greedy. Okay, we're going to turn. Jingwei's here. <laughs> I'm hella greedy. I really wanted him right there. I was figuring to wait for a dash cooldown and see if we could just lock him down. Ross starting up the FG. Don't know for sure if this... Oh, God damn it, she did it again. <laughs> Not sure if this is going to be the play. Don't have very good DPS so far. Go and used our shield to block some of that damage as we got CC'd right there. Just hope we last hit it. There we go. We got it with the two. Did not get a very good secure right there. Not quite time to brace her yet. Go ahead and turn on him here. We can brace her in just a second. Look at that heal. Oh, and that's why we went bracer. Oh my God. That turned around quick. He should be out here. He should be out. So we're going to make our way back towards the team. Wow. That was disgusting, man. We threed and then bracered and boom. Nemesis. Three quarters HP just like that. Let's see if we can finish off the Afro back here. Go ahead and finish her with the dash. Let's try and get to Raw. Ultimate up in a few. Okay, that blind's going to mess with us. So we got to wait for it for now. Go ahead and dive here as we get a little later in. There we go. That'll finish him off. Shouldn't be too worried about the Osiris here. Got our shield coming up in just a second. I think we're pretty safe. Go ahead and reset real quick, though. Oh, did they have it, right? Guys? Guys? <laughs> do you not have this kill? <laughs> All right, we're going back. Oh, no. Minions are dead, too. This is this is going bad quick. We got an M shield, though. We're okay. Jingwei's down for a while. Um, Terra diving, diving Titan like an absolute maniac. Respect. Yeah, I think we just do Pyromancer here. Pyromancer is a pretty solid call at this point. I just realized we still don't have our Hydras done. We've been fighting for so long. Yeah, let's do a quick Pyromancer. And we'll head on back to base. Get Hydras online. Probably go... Uh, honestly... Do we Wing Blade? I think we winged blade over over anything else. We can afford it too, which is great. Wherever it is, there we go. Yeah, that's really solid. Wing blade makes a lot of sense here. I mean, they have an Osiris, they have a uh, a Ra. Those are the big ones. Um, then we can end up dealing with slows from Mercury. We can deal with slows from from Aphrodite. Uh, Jingwei potentially as well if she goes into a Poison Star, which it looks like looks like so far both of them are avoiding those. But still, at the very least, Osiris, Ra, some really powerful slows that we can avoid with that Wing Blade. And Nemesis relies so much on her mobility, on her movement speed. Ooh, hang on. On her needs help. That, uh, that we can make really good use of that. Mercury, just die! Bracer. What the hell? Why am, why am I that slow? Stop it. Damn it, man. I missed my two on Merc. That was pretty bad on my part. They are trying so hard to pick me back here. Holy. We took a really bad path, though, so we almost let them just now. Uh, can we come back in last second and clean up? No, he has Aegis. No, dude. I tried so hard to make things happen there. 
Our autos were just a little off too, which didn't help, but wow, that was close to being a huge play and instead it just flopped. That sucks. Hopefully Honor can clean up this raw real quick. Oh no. Oh no. He's playing the pillar dance with him. Yeah, yeah, give it up, man. Give it up. <laughs> Go do other things. Oh no. Don't think this is going to be a, any chance of a winning fight. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Well, that was a really, really bad team fight for us. That went absolutely terrible. We got one kill. We lost everybody. There goes Fire Giant. Um, that's pretty, pretty, pretty rough. Basically, what happened was that started off with, with someone getting picked, and we were just kind of awkwardly filing into that fight one by one. We never really got properly grouped. Uh, I, I shouldn't say he got picked. Honor didn't actually die, but, you know, getting singled out. And we ended up filing in two, two single file there and not really properly grouping up and team fighting, and that made the fight pretty rough. Hopefully we can get our speed buff here. I uh, actually might be able to pick someone. Ra trying to run for his life. I think we just kill him. We do. They're going for the speed? That's pretty greedy. Oh, good try. Oh, we got the slow on her. There should be a pick on the Jingwei. If they can stop body blocking me. Bop. Don't think we need to beads this. I'm greedy though. <laughs> nice. Good cleanup. And just like that, we just flip flop it, right? Just like that. So if we can just shove here, if we can shove lanes, that would be great. And they're pushing way up right here. Me and Baron got to catch up to them. But that's four kills. Ra, the soonest to spawn, he's down for a while. Uh, Osiris can kind of defend against them, but not going to be able to 1v4 defend. I mean, he's just going to kill himself if he actually goes for it. That's why we're playing pretty aggressive here. We absolutely have the teammates to keep us safe. Plus, we have heals from Ra, heals from Terra. This should be a very easy Phoenix. Although, I guess with just me for really our damage on it, it is a little tough to get done, to be fair. But we got it done either way. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we dive this this dead phoenix right here. I think we start going back towards the FG. They're still spawning, uh, although that's a Jingwei. We'll be able to rotate very quick with that passive of hers. But they're still spawning. I think it's worth giving this a try real quick. Let's see, do they have a word on this? No. Uh, our damage is pretty slow here. Hopefully, Baron's not just doing blue and trying to zone. Hopefully, looks like he wasn't, but either way, yeah, he's just doing blue, man. I don't think that's your play. Got to be a little careful about this fight here. Can we pick the Osiris? Good stuff. Guys, guys, reset here, reset here. Don't think we want to be going too, too much off of that. Yeah, we want to regroup here if we can. Uh, and then we can go ahead and look to force down right tower is what we want to be looking for here. Right tower. Try and take that tower first. Really important with Fire Giant, you always want to take the easy objectives. Just, well, just about always. Every once in a while there's an exception, but 90% uh, of the time you want to take the easiest objectives first. We could have potentially gone for a fight there, generally speaking, because it actually wasn't a terrible time to follow up. But generally speaking, people make a lot of misplays when it comes to uh, when it comes to immediately following up with a fire giant. They get really clueless. They make they do some dumb things. So a lot of the time, even if it's a good fight, a lot of the time with with stuff like this where you're not actually in a team, you know, a coordinated team, then uh, it's still better to to regroup and actually have like a legitimate team fight. Raw, you dickhead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit me with a body block. Um, but yeah, honestly, that wasn't a terrible time to push. I just, I still think it's better to regroup and actually have everyone think through that we're, you know, we're pushing together and we're looking for an objective and not just blindly running at the enemy team. So 5v5 right here. We have our fire giant though. Uh, mid Phoenix already down. Something we can pressure as fire creep start pushing into that. It's going to be a little bit tough for us. To, ooh, yeah. We're going to want to heal up this honor. Oh no. Well, that is not the start to the fight we were looking for. This fight, this fight just got bad real quick. Yeah, I think we just have to regroup and, and defend left here. Hopefully they don't get picked over there. They definitely don't want to be in that position. Baron getting caught out of position. He's just dead, though. He is just looking pretty dead. Yeah, I don't think we can go into this, man. No, not worth it. That's too bad. That's too bad. On her, I'm not really sure what happened on her at first. He just took a lot of damage really quick and then got raw sniped, so... 
Not really sure how much he could have done different, honestly. We do get our left Phoenix back up, but hopefully, hopefully Terra, I should say, doesn't get picked here. Ra's going to want to back pretty quick as well in case they go for Phoenix. Mid tower is not too big of a deal. Obviously, it sucks that they're taking it, but we're not going to try and risk our life right now to, to defend that, especially with our fire giant that we're trying to protect. See if we can just burst the Mercury. There we go. Deleted. Bracer. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and disengage real quick. We're taking a lot of damage quick. Really good pick, though. Really good pick. Unfortunately, Terra does go down, but we'll take that. We got their one of their main DPS deleted really quickly. Trying to heal up the Jingwei. Really can't dive too well right now without any sort of beads or anything like that. It's going to be some trouble for us. We do have our shield, but it's not a whole lot to rely on. Winged Blade proc, though. Oh, we didn't quite catch the Osiris. Damn. Good job by the team, though, cleaning up that kill. If we can heal up a little bit, wait for some cooldowns in the back. Can come back in. Raw beam down, raw two down. If we can reach him, we can kill him. Looks like that's not going to quite happen, though. Trying to turn on me. I think we're okay. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're not. I didn't think Ra had ult. Damn, that's too bad. Yeah, he's full cooldown reduction. I did not realize that. Well... I was thinking we were fine. Raul must have just been coming up right there. So, that blows. Holy, Jingwei going hard right there. So, uh, we have some money to spend here. Looks like we can get an elixir of power. Looks like once we're dead for a little longer, we should be able to get a potion of might as well. Something going for us, right? Get a really big power spike right here. Uh, I think as far as build is concerned, we're looking really good build-wise. I think this build is pretty much everything we want. Um, I think that uh, I think that we're pretty set right now build-wise. I don't think there's anything we're going to adjust. We have our anti-heal. We could go into a toxic blade. I don't think that's going to be worth it. Hydras is pretty much a must. Crusher is something that's sellable. If we want to get rid of Crusher and feel like something else is important, we could do that. Uh, but I think we're feeling I think we're feeling good right now. We're mostly looking to burst squishies, so we don't really need percentage pen. We'll go ahead and wait and base a little bit for this potion of might. Give ourselves a few seconds real quick. But yeah, this game's going great, man. 22 and 4, all considering. Like, it's actually a pretty even game between the teams. But, oh my god, are we fragging right now? We've been a part of 90% of the kills. Doing really, really well. I feel great about it. Scoop this up. Fire's just about to spawn. We got, oh no, on her. So greedy, man. Damn. Well, that changes some things. Part of what sucks is whenever they get that pick, uh, Aphrodite gets stronger the fewer people you have in any sort of engagement. Uh, like, if you're 2v2, Afro is incredible. If you're 5v5, Afro is kind of meh, right? It's like, unlike a normal Guardian where she starts setting up with, with big CC, she's just helping that one person. We did get a nice pick on the Mercury there. Look for an ult on the Raw here. You know, it beads any CC coming for us if we can. Nice, finish off the Raw. Bracer, please? No, no. Do we get ulted by... Yeah, we got ulted by Osiris. We had anti-heal there. Ah, oh, that sucks. I played that aggressive banking on the Bracer and, and wasn't processing the fact that... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so unlucky. Wasn't processing the fact that, uh, that we got ulted by Osiris and our Bracer wouldn't quite proc yet. Damn, dude. On her getting picked there was really, really rough. Um, hopefully he's enough to defend. 1v3 here. They could potentially go for an end if they're wanting to. Like, they've got Aphrodite, Jingwei for DPS, and Osiris to peel, or, or to CC. It looks like they're not gonna play it aggressive, thank god, because honestly, <laughs> honestly, I think that was GG if they wanted to make it GG right there. So, we're still, we're still hanging in, man. We're still hanging in a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, if we just, if we stop getting picked, because it's been a few fights in a row where, where people get picked to start the fight, uh, if we can just, if we can avoid that, we'll be all right. Oh, well, Fire Giant going their way. It's obviously going to make fights a lot tougher. I still think we have a decent team fight. We're doing a really good job getting one pick on our side. Um, in, in each fight pretty early on, whether it's, you know, whether it's Mercury or Ra or whoever, we're really frequently getting a pretty quick pick. Um on one of their teammates, so if, if we can just avoid that on our side, that's going to change things, even with Fire Giant. I feel like that's still going to happen. Uh, Nemesis ult, so good for that, right? You get you get the protection shred, you get so much of their their health just gone, just like that. Really tough to, uh, to stay alive late game when Nemesis is burning you down with that ultimate. 
Yeah, Gold Fury, not worth defending. They have Fire Giant. Not worth an honor ult, honestly. But Mercury did dash that. Can we turn on the Mercury? Oh, no. There we go. I did not mean to ult the Afro, and that definitely changes things a little bit there. We're going to try and disengage real quick. We're going to try and re-engage in the back line here if we can. We have beads. We have Bracer. Can we catch the Raw? Yes, we can. Not sure how much damage we're taking. We're just going to panic pot the Bracer. That should be game. Oh, no, we don't have beads for this. Nice. We pick Osiris in the back. This should be... This should be a dead Afro over here in the front, too. Ow. Ow. We actually might die here if we don't... Yeah, if we don't get away for a second. Damn. Yeah, if she hit me with that three, we probably would have died, so we had to juke away for a second there. Wow. Even even support Afro doing some damage. He doesn't have, like, a whole lot of damage built or anything. There's soon as respawns 15 seconds. That's going to do it, guys. Wow. That was a pretty competitive game. I've got to say, considering considering we are 26 and 5, that was a very competitive game. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.